So let's take a look at how to update an expired license in Sage X3. What you should have is a file, a license file that you obtained from uh, sales in X3. Uh, customer support does not generate uh, license files for customers or partners. Uh, the license files are actually obtained from X3, uh, the X3 sales team. Uh, but once you purchase the license, you should have a physical file that you will need to import into your X3 solution. The file will have a naming convention similar to this one here that we're going to use as an example. It should end, uh, or it should have a, uh, a suffix of .json. So now let's take a look at how we would update this license file. I'm going to log into Sage X3 using the admin login credentials. And once I'm there, let's navigate over to the administration menu and we'll expand administration, administration, licenses, and we're going to go to license upload. Of course, you could type in the function licenses to get you to the same place. Uh, I just wanted to break down the detail for you so you know exactly where you need to go. So here you can either uh, drag the file and the file should actually be on a machine, of course, that has a Sage X3 on it. And we can either drag it or we can select it. Give it a moment to uh, take and then click on the right hand side here, upload license. And then you should momentarily see an OK message like here. And once that is complete, then we can confirm that the update took place by going to a, an option here, license data. And the license data, you'll select the, the Sage X3 product. And if, for example, you purchased uh, new modules, additional user counts, badges, what have you. When you go into available licenses, you should be able to see the update in the appropriate area. So wherever you updated that. And there's no restart required after you have uploaded the Sage X3 license. And I, I hope that that helps explain how you update your Sage X3 license.